However, we have to, in this particular case, there's a couple of things that we can learn from this. His response was a response to Jesus. And he's, in essence, arguing with Jesus as about what is, he's going to do. Well, Jesus knew what he was going to do. And I want us to be reminded that when it comes to first responses, if Jesus tells us something, my first response should not be to argue the point with him. And then Jesus was also referring to Scripture as well in that regard. So there are a couple of things there in terms of first responses. And we think about Jesus and what he tells us to do. It is about the will of God in our life. And we, if we recognize that God's will, and this is important for us, that he is the author, he is the finisher of our faith and that what God can do, that he is a redeemer. And with, as Mac would oftentimes say, and I would write, my grace is sufficient. That His grace is sufficient. We need to understand that. that. So the Apostle Peter was an example of that, when his first response. His first response when they came to get Jesus was he drew his sword and you know, whacked off the, the ear of Malchus. That was his first response. Jesus said, that is not the way we do this. And then he had to, you know, repent of that. But that was his immediate first response. This, in this case, he's being a defender of Jesus. Then we find another response when he is charged, he's there, and they ask him, well, aren't you a disciple of his? Aren't you a follower? And he, he denies Jesus three times there. In fact, he even appears like he's cursing just for emphasis. Not that any of us have ever cursed for emphasis. Anyone who has never cursed from emphasis here can rise on up to heaven right now and be with their Lord. But we've all done that and the like. But he did that. That was, again, his first response. Now we know that Peter took it back. But, again, we learned that. And then the final example of, of Peter's first response is after Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection... Peter thought it was all over. And I just want to mention this because I think it's very, very important for us as a congregation. Peter says in John chapter 21, verses 1 through 3, to his disciples, I go fishing. This isn't just that I'm going to go get some food. Peter was in essence saying, look, Jesus has come. This is all over with. I'm going to go back to my old way of life. Now, brethren, we all know that Mac is... It is and was an incredible heart of this church. He was the heart and soul of it. We all know that. But what we also know there is a Lord and there is a Savior and that we cannot go fishing. We must do what Mac, what Jesus wants us to do. There is still a God. Jesus' directive to Peter, as we read on later, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. And that is, that is what Mac was always involved in, is feeding the sheep and helping in that regard. So we can't go fishing, even though that might be our first response. Thinking, oh well, that's, that's it. But it's not. There is a God. He continues to live. Now, this is what I want us also to understand here in our first response. And I'm going to give two different scenarios. When my father died unexpectedly, I asked the question, and I remember crying and going down the, the railroad tracks, shouting out at God, why God, why, 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 why? That is not, for us as Christians, that is not the first question. In fact, our first thing is who? Feeling the blues today, or tired of life already? Do you have questions about life, or need spiritual advice? We can help. Log on to WorldwideChurchOfGod.com or WCGFairfield.blogspot.com and stay connected to reality. The Worldwide Church of God in Fairfield, Santa Rosa, and Modesto are located in the San Francisco Bay Area, regarded as the most prosperous region in the United States. We believe Jesus Christ when he proclaimed in Matthew 6:24 
that serving God is more important than serving mammon. We welcome everyone to come and worship and fellowship every Saturday at the times listed on your screen and on our website, worldwidechurchofgod.com. 